Hey, 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 YouTube, it's the Frontal Focus here again. <laughs> Doing another video review, this time on the Halo Reach Series 4 Blue Mark V action figure. Now, this guy is pretty much Caboose. Um, McFarlane hasn't really said whether or not it is Caboose, but we could always speculate. So, there was another terrible Caboose impersonation by the Frontal Focus. Um, he, or actually, you know what? Forget that. I'll do the figure, don't worry about that. But I just want to say that I did get a new light. And it's very bright. It's a bright new light. And I like this light a lot. It brings out a lot of the colors, but unfortunately it does wash away some of the, um, or at least when it goes through the eye touch, it does wash away some of the uh, lighter colors, like light blues and that sort of thing. So I don't know if I'll always use this camera. Um, if I decide, or not camera, but this light. And if I decide that I want to use another one, then I'll just switch out the old light. So, you know, it might not always look like this. Probably will, because I like this light a lot. Just informing you there. Now, let's get to this guy. Um... He has an excellent paint job, just going to say that, and I really have no problems with him, other than the loose knees. Uh, he does have a loose knee on this side, perfect knee on this side, I don't understand what went wrong. Um, this thigh is very loose as well, and I believe one of his elbows is loose, I don't know, I, I haven't moved him around so much. I am kind of lazy, and actually I just woke up from a nap, so I might sound a little funky. Uh, I did have school today, and it was, I had to get up at 6.30, so I'm kind of pooped, but um, yeah, putting on the enthusiasm for YouTube. He does come with a grenade as well. Um, in this light, I always thought the grenades were like black, but after seeing it in this light, he, uh, it, I mean not he, it almost seems like a greenish color, which is kind of cool. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up because, or not the camera, but the light kind of makes it look a little funky. But in person with this light on, it, the grenade almost looks like an olive drab green color, which is kind of cool. Um, a new thing for these multiplayer Spartans is this knife that they now have, the combat knife on their uh, chest plates. Now in matchmaking, if you guys play Halo Reach, which probably most of you do, uh, you'll notice that most of your Spartans have those knives on their, or on their chests, and they didn't include them before in previous multiplayer figures uh, from series you know, 1, 2, and 3. The only times they were included was with a um, campaign figure, but now it appears that they're including them with all the multiplayer figures. Uh, if you have a series 4 figure, you can check on the back of the box and see all of them. They have all nice little beautiful knives on their chest plates. It's very cool, and McFarlane, if you can, if you watch this, because obviously, come on, we know you are. Um, <laughs> you would be really awesome if you could get that knife to be removed, but uh, yeah, fix those marine shoulders first, or the biceps, because that's a big issue. But in any case, this guy's very awesome. I don't even think we need to go over paint job anymore with McFarlane, because there, it's usually always a fantastic paint job. Uh, the reason why I don't think we do is because uh, the reason why most Halo 3 or Halo reviewers went over the paint job was because back in series 1, 2, and 3, paint jobs weren't fantastic. McFarlane was, you know, just getting their legs, and, um, you know, they didn't really know how to, well, they knew how to paint, but they didn't know how to paint these figures so well. And sometimes they come out with little crummy paint jobs or something like that. But now in Halo Reach and at the end of Halo 3 series, like series 7 and series 8, there is zero problems with these guys. And I, I can't even remember what the worst paint job I've had with a Halo Reach figure. Probably maybe a little bit over one of the joints or something like that, but really there's no problem at all. Um, and I love the paint job on this guy, especially because, <clears throat> sorry, they do always give that little uh, silver detailing that they have. Uh, and sometimes, McFarlane, you do overdo it a little bit, but I do like this because it's the perfect balance, you know, really nice, really nice. Uh, zero problems, I have zero problems with this guy. His head goes up really far, and I love that about the Reach figures also. I could say a million and one things about how much I like these guys. Uh, excellent, excellent detailing all around. Uh, he's got a lot of little decals or symbols on his back. You want to see here, a little white stripe. Probably won't be able to read it or pick it up very well. My camera tends to focus on the bigger things and blur out the little stuff. But he does also have a little UNSC symbol by his knife, which I know you will never, not, well, not never, but no, not see. Um, his visor is a goldish kind of color. Uh, I'm trying to decide whether or not it's gold or if any of you guys have Series 1 Reach figures, uh, the visors then were a little different from how they are now. They were more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They were more like a lighter shade of gold, and um, yeah, so I'm not entirely sure. This is more of a crimsony gold, which looks really awesome. And I just love the Mark V helmet in general. Uh, it's the original helmet, and it's very, very cool. Now, he does also have these little caution stripes on his feet, which, you know, means don't curb stop babies, obviously. But um, I don't really know why they put those on there. They've had those for a long time. I'm not complaining, because they're kind of cool. I like having little caution tape symbols means watch out for my foot, you covenant, but uh, <laughs> it is, Assault Rifle does have a little white stripe, and it has a, 
bit of a black wash, I think. At least the barrel looks like it has a black wash. Um, nothing problem, no problems with the assault rifle. Fantastic as always. And the grenade is fine as well. I actually, I think the only problem with the painting is with the grenade. And that's only because a little bit got on the um, part where you pull the pin. And, like, you don't even notice that because you can just take the grenade off and the figure's pristine. So, if you didn't have a loose knee, he would be 100% with me. Uh, Figure-wise, I don't know if yours will have a loose knee. Probably not. Chances are it won't. I would definitely recommend picking up this guy. He is definitely one of my favorite Spartans I have. Definite 5 out of 5. Fantastic all around. Just really great. Love the paint job. And I love the color blue that they did. Um, they did, it st they did a uh, primary blue and a secondary blue. Which means that, you know, there's no silver parts anywhere. Uh, the battle damage that they did with the silver is very nice. It's not overdone, and it looks really great. It doesn't look like it's um, factory battle damage. It looks like real-life battle damage. So that's very cool, too. They included the combat knife. Really happy about that. Another assault rifle is always nice. And a little grenade for those that like explosions. So um, thank you guys for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, if you guys don't like this lamp... Um, you can tell me, because <laughs> I'll be happy to change it, because it's you guys that I care about. I care about getting these reviews out to you guys and uh, informing you and that sort of thing. So if you guys don't like this lamp, you know, go ahead and tell me. It won't hurt my feelings. But uh, yeah, you guys, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Stay classy. And eat your green vegetables. Bye, guys.